Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. Yep, it's that time again. Every single day, it's time for the pocket dump deconstruction. Just seven minutes ago, I posted a picture of this, today's EDC pocket dump, and then I turned my iPhone 6S Plus to video, and now we're doing the YouTube version. And that YouTube version is where we deconstruct it. We talk about what's going to be in my pockets, and then we play with the knives. So, uh, let's start. The night. The uh, watch is one of my regulars. It's the tag chronograph, which I love. I'll keep saying it to me. Sabenza of the watch world. Just nice, simple, Swiss made, perfect. Makes you feel like you have a, a wonderfully crafted thing on your wrist. I really love it. Of course, I'm going to butcher, butcher, see, I even butchered butcher. I'm going to butcher the name of this. This is becoming one of my nice favorite short smokes. This is a Cuban cigar. I call it Vigaro's. Um, it's a Cuban cigar that really... Uh, started around 1996, a real modern Cuban cigar. It's a nice short smoke. A lot of people who see my Instagrams at Keith Kevin Ken, and they'll see this cigar and they'll go, man, I should pick that up. I don't know why I don't pick it up. Because it has a lot of modern packaging and usually Cuban cigars date back before the revolution and they still have some of that same branding. This is a very modern branded cigar, but oh, really tastes nice. If you're into cigars, give it a shot. Of course, they're a Cuban company. Of course, they're not sponsoring me. And of course, all of you don't smoke, and I'm not saying to start smoking. I'm just saying I do to celebrate the end of the day, especially when I have some brandy <laughs> in my pocket with my flask. So that's how I'm going to end today. We are starting this day early in the morning so that we can talk about knives and have some fun. The coin of the day that I always carry, a silver coin. Let's get the shade over it. Uh, this coin is a U.S. Mint commemorative of the Boy Scouts. Love, 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 love the Boy Scouts. I was one We below Cub Scout, Boy Scout. Still... Let's see, trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. And that's from a guy over 50, okay? So it does stick with you. If you believe in <coughs> that kind of stuff, it's easy to remember. Uh, remember. I'm forgetting what I ate yesterday, but I still remember <laughs> my scout's oath. Anyway, uh, man, that's that's deep. I didn't practice that. Uh, Mont Blanc, uh, thin wallet. I have the word as my notepad. Now let's talk about the knives. Now before I get into the knives and the knife that got away, I've been playing with a bunch of knives today. I was digging into my silver collection to get my lucky one ounce coin. I came with the Boy Scouts and yes, when it's early, early in the morning and the rain is coming down, my mind wanders. This is not part of the carry. This is not the knife that got away. It's one of the knives that I have trouble finding a place for in my wallet. It doesn't have a hole, <laughs> so it can't be a keychain. Um, but I love this. I do have a sizable case knife collection. You probably haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna do a mini collection of all my case knives. That's coming up. Um, check out the channel that you're watching now, the Keith Kevin Ken channel. There are a lot of mini collections. I post them one, two times a week. In fact, I just posted a mini collection looking at the Starbenza, the family of Starbenza. Um, and it just came up. Today is, hold on. February, I know you might be watching this two, three years later, but I post these every day. February 25th, Thursday, February 25th, it just became live early this morning, so check it out if you haven't already. Anyway, the reason I'm bringing this knife out is, one, I couldn't put it down this morning, but also, 
I've been in search of what I call the perfect Boy Scout knife. I love the Boy Scout knife. When I was one, they had this wonderful blue multi-blade pocket knife. And so I'll tell you, the closest I've got, and I've got a number of these, is the wonderful case trapper knives. Now, this is the two-blade case trapper knife, and it's a little fancy because it has this wonderful bone cover with the uh, the silver bolsters, uh, the stainless steel bolsters, and it has that wonderful raindrop Damascus on the blades. Isn't that wonderful? Sometimes you get a case blade knife with Damascus, and I have a few of them, and you'll see them when I do the collection, where they're faded out Damascus, but this looks like it. I'm calling it raindrop Damascus. None of the literature said, but I have enough Devin Thomas Raindrop Damascus to at least take the guess. But isn't that a wonderful blade? That is what, oh man, an older brand case. This is not an older knife, but to me, this is my idea of a Boy Scout knife at my age. I just love it. Solid, obviously slip joint, just like the regular boy scout knife i don't know what they're using as a boy scout knife today but man in my day oh i would have given both of my legs and two of my arms for this knife anyway just wanted to share with you because i wanted to play with it this is going to stay on my desk with the knife that got away so i can play with it it is a case knife um with Damascus blade, what I love about case knives, they're still reasonably priced for the most part, and you can buy them everywhere on Amazon.com or Case.com or wherever knives are sold, but I love that. That's my Boy Scout knife of the day. <laughs> I won't do that forever, but I just really love this knife, and I haven't had a chance to put it in my pocket. I've owned it for about a year or so, and I always bring it out when we're going through cases of knives. Anyway, that's that knife. Now let's talk about what I am carrying. Um, I really like this knife. Spyderco does this a lot. They take one of their popular knives and then every year they do one or two special things for the knife community. The USN uh, Usual Suspect Network uh, group of knife lovers. In this case, they took a ladybug um, and it's a Ladybug 3, and they made it special with that bright green color. This is a Hawkbill knife, uh, VG10 steel, oh man, blacked out blade. Let me just say this, I love the Ladybug, and this is a wonderful blade. It has that back lock, that very strong back lock. This is one of the Spyderco knives that they call the Little Big Knife. Because, yes, it's my keychain knife. It's small for a keychain knife. Perfect. Stands out. You take out your keys, you put it on the desk, everyone goes, woo! They don't get scared, but with that hog blade, they should. Super haircutting, sharp, just a beautiful blade. I love the black with that hot green, and it can do a lot of work. That's why they call it the little big man knife, because it's real functional, really does great work. And with that strong back lock, this really does something and can do some damage as well. But also helps you with these small tasks that a keychain knife can do. Perfect keychain knife. And you see that H1? Not only is it a ladybug, little big guy knife, not only is it in these wonderful colors to celebrate a wonderful group of guys who love knives, the usual suspect network, USN, but it has H1 steel. And that's Spyderco steel that is, listen to this, rust proof. Rust proof, rust proof, rust proof. And it is raining like cats and dogs here on the East Coast. And it's just a wonderful knife. Not only does it look great, works great, feels great with that FRN scale. Uh, that FRN scale, I always say it feels like space age plastic. It has that texture. FRN stands for fiberglass reinforced nylon. So of course it's a lot more than plastic. It's a wonderful knife that takes a beating and still looks great. But look at that. Ah, 
Anyway, talked a lot about this keychain knife, but I really love it. It is available to anyone. You don't have to be a member of the USN. Uh, I've seen them all over the place. Actually, I have the pair. They have the plain blade, hawk, uh, bill blade like this, and they have the serrated, so it comes as a pair if you want it or buy it one a piece. Oh, man, I just really like that knife. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can tell, I like a lot of different knives, and that's why uh, I'm happy you're with me so we can talk about a lot of different knives and have some fun. My middle carry is the one that I had troubles with this morning. This right here is just a beautiful, beautiful gentleman's carry knife. I just love it. It's the Spartaco. Spartaco did a collaboration with Des Horn, D-E-S Horn, H-O-N. He's a knife maker out of South Africa. They got together for this collaboration. It's really, really just smooth as pie. It has a smoothed out G10, very smooth, feels great. Has these lines that are decorative, but also gives you a nice purchased with this knife i think it has that art deco kind of look to it you know that 20s art deco look it's really nice it has a liner lock but man because of that hole in the scale they make it just so simple to get at it it is the one of the smoothest knives i'll tell you look at that blade profile they have that nice decorative look, that's, that adds to that Art Deco look to me. The steel is a wonderful S30V steel. So Spyderco chose some nice steel. That profile, Spyderco calls in, I agree, it's, it's like a combination of the, uh, spare, the spear point and the worn cliff. You know, right when you get to that worn cliff, you get that nice little spear point with it look at the clip look at the clip yes sir <laughs> they have that wonderful deep carry um wire clip that i just love it is so lightweight no liners but it does have a liner lock so there's a little bit of a liner on that side so it's very 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 light and look is that one piece i had to put it up to my eyes because i'm looking through no it's not there is a back liner here, but it's so nicely put together. It almost feels like it's just one solid wraparound piece. Very, very, very nice. Oh, man, it feels wonderful in the hand. And I'll tell you, Spyderco did a great job. At, at first look, you would think that hole was just a branding hole, not functional. But what they did was they really did that large cutout right here in the handle, which makes it so easy to get to it and pull it out. It is so smooth like butter. And then it leaves that so that you can accent the liner lock. A lot of times I don't like liner locks. I don't, whether it's Spyderco or some high-end custom knives, sometimes it just is so hard for me to get my fat fingers to the lock that it frustrates me um this is just wonderful and smooth this is called the death horn because that's who spyderco worked with south african knife designer and i chose this knife for the second medium-sized knife for the carry and like i said that was the one that I had a little trouble making uh, a decision, but I just couldn't let that go. The large knife, oh man. You, you see what I'm doing right now where I pause right here and let the light play with it? I literally do that by myself early, early in the morning. That's how much of a knife weirdo I am. Is that beautiful? That's the Chris Reeve Sabenza 25. And for a long time, Chris Reeve didn't mess with his Sabenza 25s. You just got the plain Jane and you said, thank you for 25 years of service. I'm glad you made a new knife for 25 years and I'm happy I own it. 
And then Chris Reeves started really playing with them. And I have a lot of 25s. Yes, I'm going to do a mini 25 collection. I want to because it has inlays. It has carbon fiber. Uh, and it has this, these etched lining, uh, etched scales, which I love. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. I am literally at the tail end of this cough I've had for over a week. Um, so I apologize. This is, of course, this Benza 25. It has this wonderful ladder Damascus, and it has that etching, that ladder Damascus etching. I have the small 21s, all three of them, as, as a set that is like this, where the etch matches the blade, the Damascus blade. I have the large 21 and I have this 25 and I'm not sure I'm done with it. I might do the complete large 21 and large 25. That's money that I don't have right now. <laughs> but when I have it, I might continue to add to this collection because I just think it's perfect. The perfect Chris Reeve knife with all that pizzazz on top of it, um, which I just love. So you can see this is ladder Damascus Oh man, look at that spine. It's just beautiful. Can you see that? Just, I just love it. It has the double studs. It is just a wonderful knife. That is my big carry. And man, I just love it. It's smooth. I tell you, I say all the time, you know a classy, um, man, mid-tech or a classy production knife is every time you open it, you know it's getting looser. It feels looser. It really does. You can see it just wearing in just nice, especially the Chris Reeves. That is it. The one reason I picked the Des Horn as my second carry is because of that large 25. I needed something a lot lighter and smoother, but I really love this. Oh, I love that carry. That's it. That's what made up my pocket dump for Instagram this morning. Remember, you can catch my feed on Instagram. I post, I don't know, four to five pictures a day of uh, knife-related uh, photos of my collection. It's at Keith Kevin Ken, just like this YouTube channel, Keith Kevin Ken YouTube channel. That's what made up that picture, but this ain't Instagram, folks. This is YouTube. So we talk about the one that got away. Now listen, <coughs> yes, your mind is probably registering this going, ah, uh, familiar spartacle, but a little weird. It is indeed. Um, I love these knives. <laughs> Some people don't love them. This is a spartacle Delica, but what spartacle did was they teamed up with the gun company, Car Arms. I'm calling it you guys know I misspell everything. Can you see that outside of the light? Car Arms, they're a gun uh, sales uh, company. And what they did, they teamed up with Spydeco. And then Michael Janik consulted with this. They cut up the blade. So it is a Delica. It is a Delica 4. It is like a regular Delica 4. Here, I grabbed a regular Delica 4 out of my case. That's a Delica 4, and so is this, except this is the collaboration between Spydeco and Car Arms. What Janik helped them do, first of all, they chopped off a half inch of the blade. So this is a little, a regular Delica is a little over three inches, just a tad over three inch blade. In some places, three inch is a very important blade size because you can't carry if it's three inch or more. If it's under a three inch, it's very, very legal. Same in some foreign places, under three inches. Well, by cutting off a half an inch, now it's 2.5 inches. That really helps because now it can be carried a lot of different places. The other thing about this knife, the reason I talk about Michael Janik, remember Michael Janik? Oh yeah, yo Jimbo fame. If you look up his name on YouTube, he does a lot of self-defense fighting. This is a very tactical blade, hence why a gun company wanted it, right? 
And so you can pick this up, I guess, with some of their guns. You don't have to go to their, their website or order a gun to get this. This is available everywhere this is available. I've seen it on Amazon.com. I've seen it everywhere. Blade HQ, etc. But it's a real nifty little knife. Yes, exact. They didn't touch the handle. So this blade, of course, is a lot shorter than the handle. The handle is exactly the Delica handle, FRN scales. It has that wonderful back lock. But now you have, and it's still a wonderful EDC knife, VG10 steel, just like Delica, one of the best-selling Spydercos in history. But now it has that tactical edge like the Yojimbo that can really do some real damage. It's light. Man, you've got a 2.5 inch blade. It has that nasty, if you know how to use it, that nasty blade shape, but also a wonderful blade shape for EDC. I really like this. They made three of them. They made the blue so that it will really disappear in your blue jeans, and it does. They made like a khaki gray for khaki clothes, and they made a black blade for your black pants. I just love it. I think it's innovative. I love what they did uh, with that. I just love it. It is the Spydeco Delica, of course but it's the collaboration with Car Arms Guns, a gun company. So there you go, folks. That is the carry, the knife that got away, and I even played around with <laughs> what I call my Boy Scout knife from Case with Damascus Blade. Hey, folks, thanks a lot for giving me so much of your time. I really, really appreciate it. This is like therapy for me to be able to talk to you uh, my friends and that knife community every single morning and show you my love for the knives i hope you're having fun too as we play through all of them i really appreciate it thumbs this up if you enjoy it don't forget hit that subscribe button if you were if you had already hit that subscribe button youtube told you early in the morning that i uplinked a mini collection <laughs> of the Starbenza family. If you didn't, you missed out on that and probably missed out on a lot of pocket dumps. So why don't you hit that subscribe button, be a part of our knife family so that we can talk about this every single day because I upload every single day and you can catch those collection videos that come one or twice a week. All right, so please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys. Hey, have a safe day. Have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.